acrylic paintings for beginners on YouTube step by step and I also do them in real time so that you can follow along with me so I will teach you all kinds of things like landscapes and seascapes and everything that you would need to know about acrylic painting for the beginner and it'll get you started and now let's get started that's an angular brush. Now this is a kind of more angular than the ones I have here. Like I said, I, got, I didn't go buy these on purpose. They just came in packages of brushes that I bought. So let's try, let's put, um, I don't know, let's put some red on one. Uh, just put, put paint on your brush on the two different sides, on the front, on the back, you know, whatever. Just experiment. I'm just going to try this for a bit of fun. So I got um, paint on... I'm going to call that the heel and I'm going to call that the toe. So on the heel I got red and on the toe I got white. And I'm just going to lay that brush down and I'm going to touch and I'm going to wiggle up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You've probably seen some of these in the other videos. Up and down. Right? That's cool, isn't it? Gives you a nice flower. Yep. And or you can, let's see what else we can do with it. Um, Let's put some red on there, on that side, and white on the other side, right? So now you got it on this side and that side. Let's see what that does. Just touch and lift. And then you can touch and lift, and touch and lift. And you get some cute little flowers. Let's try it this way, because I'm left-handed and you're right-handed, so... See? Look at the pretty flowers you get. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice. And then, let's try something else. Let's try just putting some red on there is fine. Don't need two colors, but you can if you want. Uh, and just try straight line. Oh, you can make some straight lines with this one too, look. Anything that's chiseled edge, you can usually get a, a good straight line. But if you want to put um, some, oh that would be nice for there, okay good, yeah, so like I said I'm always experimenting. So I'm cleaning off my brush really good and I'm just going to try putting on some green on one side of the brush and yellow on the other side of my brush. I like double loading like that. And say you took that rose and you put the pointy part up on, under the rose, put the pointy part up, and on the chiseled edge, pull, 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 pull. Look at that. Oh, wow, look at that really nice stem. Isn't that pretty? And then you could make a couple of leaves on the side, Cersei. If you want a thicker leaf, just put one next to it. So if you want to make a leaf, you got that one, and then you can put another one next to it and make your leaf a little bigger you know, play around with it, but um, yeah, that'd make it really, that'd be easy for stems, look, we got that pointy top there, right, you got that pointy top, and then when you come down, see, and you can lift, 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 and it comes off to a pointy, let's try that again, some green, I get excited when I, when brushes, when I get play around brush, my brushes, so, uh, the pointy top, and then, um, push if you want and lift see what comes out see that so you can push first if you want and then pull and lift or you can tip of the brush and then push and then lift look at that Isn't that cool what else does it do do that do that look at that just by laying it down just by having a couple of colors on your brush and I just went into a bit of blue and red and white. Let's see what happens there. I'm just going to lay it down and lift. Great for abstracts too, right? But look at that. Flowers, 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 more flowers. Love it. I love this the way, it, just the, the little tip part there just makes it really straight and then you can push and get a, a, a nice bottom to it. See, I think that's enough of that brush. I'm not, the reason I'm doing this today is to show you how to take any brush you have. 
even if you don't know what to do with it, put paint on it, put two colors on, one color, whatever, and put it on your canvas and just touch and push and pull and, and swirl it around in circles. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try that. I never thought about that till I just spoke about it. Just take that brush again. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to put green on there and a bit of yellow on one side and let's see what happens. We make circles. So touch and we go around the circle. Ooh, lovely. Good. All right. See, the more you talk about it, the more you think of things. This sponge here, you've seen them in your stores. This is a sponge. These are great for putting on your Mod Podge or uh, varnish on your paintings, okay? Not much good for, I don't like using them for paint, you know, but I, I use it for probably, and then you throw it away so you don't have to worry about it because they're only cheap and you might get 10 in the package for a dollar, I don't know. But anyway, I just thought I'd mention that to you. So here's a sponge. These are sea sponges. These are nice. You make nice foliage with these, okay? So I like to keep my sponge damp, same as I would my brush, just putting in my water. Just put in your water, make sure it's not soaking wet, okay? And what I like to do is, when I'm making foliage, I like to go into my paints and I like to, I like to put in my hand like that somehow, and then I'll probably go into a bit of red. Now this will make nice flowers or it'll make, um, We'll see what it makes. Let's see what happens. So I'm just going to touch. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see. Let's see. Touch. Push hard. Why don't you get some flowers? See, it saves you time too. Like if you want to do a pile of flowers at one time, you can get your sea sponge. You can get it bigger than this. I have some more there, but this one's falling apart because I used I used it a few times and some water. But if you want, you can put yellow and blue together and see what happens there. Touch and that's nice. Or you can just dab. Look at that. See? Just dab and you get all these really nice flowers and grasses and then you can put some highlights on top of that. See that? Then you can put some more light colors on top of it. Use the three-step method and put your dark on first, your medium on next, and your highlight last. So that's your sponge. It's not a big, you know, you can make all these nice different textured. You can use these like if you're making a rock and you want to have a textured rock, you know, with all the different colors on it, you can do that. See that? Isn't that cool? All right, so that's enough of that that I can think of right now. We're running out of space. So I don't want to. Uh, I want you. To, I want to leave it here so you can see it. Okay. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm leaving it here. I'm not getting a new sheet because I want you to be able to see these things that we did with these brushes. Okay. This one here, it's um, it's a round brush and got a round top on the head. I had other ones here somewhere. I might be able to find one. It's good for flowers. But this one here is kind of stiff and. You can, let's try this, let's try pudding, let's try pudding, pudding, mm, I'm getting hungry talking about pudding, okay, where are we, right there, put red on one, on your brush, I uh, left a little piece separate there, I'm going to put a bit of white on that side, okay, like that, let's see what that does, so it's round, so, touch, oh, <laughs> and lift, Gives you a nice little flower. Touch and turn. Not bad. I, you know, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't bother with it too much. But it's not bad, right? So you put uh, any color on. Let's try another one with blue and white. Blue on half and white on the other half. And touch. Oh, wiggles because I'm pushing hard and turn. Oh nice, okay, well it's not bad, you know, if you want to make a round moon or a planet or a grape, you can make grapes with it, see? So you just touch, put your two colors on, and touch and twist around in the circle. 
Oops, I'm going off base there now. There we go. Still nice though, isn't it? It's not bad. See, I don't know, you know. It's fun. You can also take your finger. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's use our fingers, finger painting. You can also take your finger and put some blue on the top of your finger and some white underneath that blue that you just did. Okay, let's see what that does. I know, I'm being silly now. Touch and lift. Did you miss that? There it is. Isn't that cool? See? You can make little grapes or little round objects, little balls, little uh, flowers, you know, uh, around your flowers, right? You have different colors. You can just move your finger this way and that way, and there we go. Cool. So that's another way to do things with your fingers, right? You can make a moon. Sometimes I make a moon by just putting, you know, on my little finger or, or whatever finger you're comfortable with and touch and lift and you get a nice little moon there, see? But for flowers and things or little decorations in your paintings, you can just use your finger and go boom. So whatever you can think of, you know, to make your painting stand out or add things to it, you know, you can do that. All right, so that's the finger. Now, you didn't think I was going to use my finger, did you? I might use my toes next. <laughs>